Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my essential oils table. I am excited to be here today because number one, it is like it's Memorial Day weekend and I, it's sad because people are out camping and stuff and it is almost dark outside and it's only like 3.30 in the afternoon. It's dark, it's rainy, it's windy. And so I decided to dedicate this afternoon to making some essential oil recipes. Now, a couple things. Number one, when I did my bug spray video, I got a couple private messages and a comment or two about asking, is there something that I could make for pets? So sure, there is. And I'm excited about this recipe because this is actually a recipe from uh, one of the older Simply Earth Monthly boxes. And I'll tell you that it's very, um, very important that you use a reliable source for recipes for pet uh, products using essential oils because pets can be very sensitive to oils and some of them could even be toxic. So you don't want to mess with that. I know that the Simply Earth team are a certified aromatherapist and these recipes come out in their boxes. So I feel comfortable using them. So this one I'm excited about. It's so old. I know that it's an old one because I didn't, you know, I'm, I don't know. I just write my own labels half the time and I don't use the ones that come with them. Although I've committed to doing that because they're super cute. But I can tell this is such an old recipe because I found the labels that came in this box and it was before they pre-cut them. They're stickers. You can stick it on, but they weren't pre-cut. So I've been around a while. So this is for a tick and mosquito collar. And this was super cute. When they sent this out, they actually even sent a cute little bandana for you to use, like for you to dip this in. Problem with this bandana is that Snickers is a little bit bigger than that. So he uses his own bandana, but um, this is super cute. So here's what we're going to do. It's for the tick and mosquito, mosquito collar. It's super simple. It takes juniper and I love juniper berry we actually used to have a great big juniper berry bush and uh, it had to come out which was really sad because there were just millions of juniper berries on it that was cool um, so this juniper berry essential oil and citronella essential oil which you need to be careful with citronella and not overdo it because that is uh, not a good thing for pets and it takes two tablespoons of almond oil the one thing about this is that the oil will kind of set on the top. So when you dip your, uh, your bandana in there, you've got to really mix it good, get it in there and get it out, or it, it will kind of coat it with some of the oil and you don't want that. Um, if you want to just dip the collar of your pet, you just hold, or your dog, hold the plastic parts and then dip the, um, cable part or whatever you want to call it, the fabric part of the collar in there, uh, because essential oils can actually damage some plastic. So I had uh, a thing I made one time and I laid it, um, I hung it on the shifter of my car and where it hit the column, the shifting, the steering column, there was um, kind of bubbled off some of the plastic. It was weird. Anyway, so what we're going to do is 20 drops of juniper berry essential oil. And I'm going to put that in this big bowl. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And, ooh, got one. Um, I could put this in, uh, I'm going to put it in a, a jar. And this is actually one of the jars that when I was rubbing it, I found that it had a chip on the rim. So I'm saving it for stuff like this. So uh, Snickers actually gets his hair done Tuesday and they always give him a bandana. So I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to dip his bandana in it. Um, okay. And then 10 drops of citronella. So there's oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll find that juniper berry is actually a pretty common one to use for pets. Okay. Now we're going to do... Two tablespoons of almond oil. And I find that there's one, two. I don't know if this is a true fact, but I kind of feel like this is weird. So these ones that say pure carrier oil tend to me, they don't seem to be as um, like, they don't like how I was saying you dip the fabric in the oil and it gets all over the bandana. Um, they don't seem to do that as bad. So I don't know if it's a different type of processing or if it's just me. But anyway, this is almond oil is well absorbed to the skin. Leaves 
a slightly oily feeling. Yeah, that's why we don't want that on, on the fabric, but it'll soak in. Because what you're going to do is dip your bandana or your dog's collar in here and then let it dry. And I think the oil is in here because it will help keep the uh, oils from evap the o almond oils in here because it'll keep the oils from evaporating so quickly. Okay, so now there's that. I have that in here. And now one cup of distilled water. If you don't have distilled water, you can just boil some water. I'm going to put that in there. And now I'm going to give this a real, real good mix. And then I'm going to keep this in the fridge so that, uh, you know, I can come back every few days or whatever, depending on what Snickers is doing outside. I can uh, dip, dip it some more. So let me mix that in. Let me give it a good mix. There we are. And now I'm going to take the bandana. I'm going to dip it in. And squeeze it out real good. Uh, and now I'm going to leave this to dry. And once it's dry, you can put it on your dog and help keep them from getting skeeters and fleas on them. And it'll just be a deterrent. So I'll leave this hang up. And then uh, I could tie it on his collar. I suspect if it's too, yeah, just make a little tie and tie it on his collar like that. That's what I can do with it once it's dry. And that will help keep him from getting mosquitoes and ticks. So there is a blend for you for your pets. So this is the flea, the tick, and mosquito collar. Um, and I'm just going to pour this into this jar. And I will save this in the fridge. Oh, I don't want to spill. Oh, good for me. Look at that. Woo, it did good. Okay. And I will want to shake it vigorously before I dip his collar or his bandana in there, his little scarf, because you can see the oil is going to set up on the top. So you want to really shake it, shake it before you dip that in there. And there you have some awesome tick and mosquito collar essential oil, kind of keep your dog from getting all those critters on them. So I hope you guys try it. I hope it works for you. And I hope that you adventure a little bit further into essential oils for all the things that you can do um, in your life. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.